The bad news is that soft CDC is still spreading. The good news is cops are starting to get a little experience in dealing with it and know how to talk to them. The other bad news, soft sets don't care and they're not going to listen to reason no matter what. What's that? I'm also recording this conversation as well. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not in commerce. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of got that from your plates or whatever. Yes. But, um, I also turned in the right paperwork and it's that, um, um, that I, um, um, that I'm not, um, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so involved in, in, in the commerce. Nothing that's in, that's in no. here. Okay. So turn in the right paperwork with the DMV genius. So here's, here's how it's going to go. Okay. I've already taken these cases multiple times up to the Marion County uh, circuit court and none of them have ever won. None of these cases like this. And in the Supreme Court to ruling? Me. Listen to me, what you're about to say, all these things, none of them have ever gone through and made it anywhere in the court systems, okay? Everything that you've been told or whatever is fabricated and is not true. And I'm just going to let you know I've fought this time and time again through the courts. But officer, you're breaking his heart. There's no way that could not be true. Multiple people, for some reason, this belief right now is popular, and I don't know why. But it is not true. Um, so anyways, I need your driver's license and insurance and proof of ownership and registration. Um, I, have I committed a crime? No, violation, sir. Okay, so the um, so, um, codes, mandates, procedures, policies, statutes, they're not law. Yeah. The, uh, um, so as long so, as that, like what said, is your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? You're a vehicle on a roadway. Uh, operate okay so operating is um is actually if i'm actually getting paid to do so i am not actually in no, commerce that's not true yes it that's is not, that is not the definition chicago of coach corporation versus the city of chicago license and proof of insurance okay okay so my insurance is actually private and so is my um okay, so is my information that. i just need proof of that then okay so uh, so that is actually a, is a private information in addition to that it's actually, not private information man hey listen to me okay you are required by law to give me these things. Okay. Um, I'm there you go, trying to reason with him again. It ain't going to happen. I'm really sorry, sir, but you're um, not going to be sitting there and intimidating me on this? I'm not, intim I'm not intimidating. Okay, so the, your tone is actually coming out, uh, coming across very intimidating, and I'm actually freezing right now. So with that being said and done, the thing is, is that I'm actually pointing out the fact that, that is, um, is, um, okay. this is actually an unlawful pullover. This is and the officer is trying to point out reality. Maybe you ought to look into that a little bit. Anybody selling reality on the internet? Are they reality gurus? Try to find you one. Actually, also a Terry, a Terry stop. Uh, it's not a Terry stop of any sort. So this is just a normal traffic stop, okay? I'm not going to sit here and debate for hours. Um, a lot of the times people like to debate these things. It's not. I've even taken it up through the court system, like I said, multiple times, the Mar Marion County court system. Um, I've won those cases. What you're saying is not true. And okay, what you're so if, is not factual. Okay, so if I don't, um, so if um, you do not provide it, it, this information to me, I will place you under arrest and take you to the Marion County Jail, where we will attempt to ID you. Okay, so the you're so um, so you're um, you're um, you're you're you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so. You're telling me to actually, so I have to give you my ID on un, uh, under threat of the arrest. Under threat, of, I'm just uh, under, under, under threat of any medical issues or under, anything? Why? I'm freezing. <laughs> medical issues. He's got some mental health issues. Gullibility. Is that a disability? I don't know. It should be. Yeah, okay. That's why I was wondering. I'm cold. Really bad. I'm cold. Okay. I was just making sure you didn't have a medical issue or something. Well, I'm also diabetic, but other than that, it's beside you, the here or there. Are you having any medical issues? No. Diabetic, no. Okay? No. Okay, so I need some proof of. Uh, but you're asking, you're uh, so. Am I required to actually ID myself Shank under? Run the VIN number. Yes, idiot. You are required to ID yourself on a traffic stop. So, am I required under um, under um, uh, um, to give you my ID? Uh, are you are you? Are, Is this the first time you've ever ran into this situation? Is it covered? <laughs> The VIN number? It does. It is a private. It is, it is a. It is a private plate. All right. It is. It is a private. This is the. This is my private. This is my private property. Okay. It is not your private property. This is my private well, property. Well, this, this car is your private property. Yes. yes. But when you operate it on public roadways, okay, it makes it so that you have to follow Oregon law. Fox Alpha. Okay. 
Don't be reaching around anywhere, please. I was putting my okay. camera. I just need your ID. You need to identify yourself. Thank you. This is not an Oregon ID. Or yeah, that is actually my ID. I'm actually traveling. That is my oh, right is to travel. Card. Yes. Oh, this is actually a passport card. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. What is your name? Antonio. And your so. Is it hyphenated two times? Yes, sir. Junior. Sierra 592 wants by uh, name date birth. First of Antonio, and his last name is. Child, can't you see he's talking to another grown up? Don't interrupt him. Under threat of arrest. Of yeah, it's a passport card. Yes. Yeah, I've never seen it. Uh, since you have encountered me, what is your name and badge number, sir? It's Officer Galusha with the Salem Police Department. Okay. And my badge number is Sierra 592. Okay. And what's your badge number and your name, sir? What is his name and badge what number? To him, register to him. Okay, do you have insurance on this vehicle or no? I, it is it is private. What is private or not, you still have to show him proof, stupid. His name and badge number, sir. His badge number is four eleven. Four eleven and his name, sir. Officer Belusha. Thank you. And I need both of you guys' um, um cards, please. Oh, you're going to get my number because you're going to get some citations. <laughs> It'll be on there. Um, and I will be fighting this in court. Okay, so you're telling And you'll be losing. Tell me you don't have insurance. At this point in time, I have the right to remain silent. I invoke, I invoke my fifth amendment. Okay, well, I don't amendment. read your eyes because you're not committing a crime. Really. I mean, kind of. But So here's the deal. If I see this operating on a public roadway again, I'm going to tow it. All right? You understand? Okay. Right now, you're just going to receive some citations. They do have no trespassing signs, and this vehicle is not able to move. So, yeah, yes. Soliciting a no trespassing is um is actually illegal, officer. He's not soliciting if there's a sign posted. Jesus. These people get stupider every day. Uh, I'm freezing. Do you have a way that somebody could come and get this vehicle or have it towed without moving up on the roads? No, but I'm sure you do. I can make a good phone call. Huh? I can make a few phone calls. You make what is it with soft sets always trying to eat while they're... Uh, is that a nervous thing? Or why do you always got to try to eat in the middle of a traffic stop? I mean, if you'd had license and registration and insurance, you'd have been on your way by now and you could, you know, go eat something. But instead, you're going to do this. It's going to tie yourself up for hours and you're probably going to get hungry. Phone calls. But you're actually violating my, um, you're actually, first of all, you guys are violating my, my Fourth Amendment. Ooh, yeah. Um... I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Let me go check some stuff on the computer and make sure this is who he is and uh, look at the vehicle. So they've taken my passport under threat of arrest. And um, just look at that. They're checking my information, violating my Fourth Amendment right to privacy. Hold on, let me shuffle through all the papers that I printed out off of Google. That way I can set this officer straight. And 
and violating my right to travel. You guys have two minutes to actually make this, um, to, to get the extra the citation. Do you have any weapons in the car? I have the right to remain silent. I invoked my fifth. Ooh, it's chilly. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, Chicago Coach Corporation versus the city of Chicago, higher Supreme ruling, saying the fact that um, travel is not a um, privilege that requires license, registration, or forced insurance. Also, additional to that, um, people versus battle, another Supreme Court ruling, stating the fact that traffic infractions is not a crime unless it has been actually considered, um, unless they have your reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed or about to commit a crime or stealing or damaging somebody else's property or, dam or, or uh, causing physical harm to somebody. That is actually, that is the law of the land. Maybe you should actually read these cases you're trying to cite. Just a tip. Did you even know and actually a part of your guys' policy using lights and sirens is actually um, a felony offense unless it's actually um, unless it's actually deemed an emergency? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Did you know that? Did you guys read that in your guys' policies? Or did you guys skip that? I was on the other phone. How do you pull somebody over without turning the lights on? How do they know that you're trying to pull them over? You just get beside them and be like, hey, over there, over, pull over, over there. No, no, that's not what they do. They turn the little lights on. You look in the mirror, you're like, oh, flashing lights. I better pull over. And you pull over. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. Other than that, how's your day going so far, officer? Good. How long have you been? I was doing great till I ran into some jackass that doesn't know the law or what he's doing. Been on force? Quite a while. Quite a while? 10, 20 years. I've already turned in all my paperwork over to the Secretary of State in, in D.C., the Attorney General's office, even in, um, even here in, in the state of Oregon. Yeah, what paperwork is that? I'm not in your jurisdiction. So this is actually an, you know, an unlawful and illegal stop. You're not in his jurisdiction? Are you a figment of his imagination? Are you just an apparition? Are you not a human being within the borders of his jurisdiction? Weird. And do me a favor, do not ever call me a, a, a sovereign citizen. A sovereign is a king for himself. A citizen is a, a person that actually works for another person or a slave. And a sovereign citizen is a term coined by the people that first tried this bunch of stupidity before it spread to everywhere. Then it got a negative stigma, so people are like, don't call me that. That's what I am, but don't call me that. That's a contradiction in itself. Putting it, it's actually considered as defamation character. Putting it on paper is liable. You swore an oath to uphold and protect the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Is that correct, sir? Oh, he did the oath thing. I'm one more away from bingo. Um, I mean, uh, unfortunately, it's not you guys' fault that you guys are taught maritime um, admiralty law. The thing is, is that that is actually a foreign jurisdiction ran by the crown. You guys literally gave yourself up to another uh, another jurisdiction for a paycheck. Do you guys ever listen to how ridiculous you sound when you say this stuff? I'm sorry. To hear, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not you guys. The Oregon law. And Oregon, it's, law, says Oregon you, law is actually uh, it, that, that that is um, that is is still run by um, um, a foreign jurisdiction, maritime law, ran by the crown. I'm, I'm standing on the land and soil. Look like you're sitting in a car. What was your name again? My name's Tony. Tony. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Tony, this might be a pretty good time to start calling for a ride. Hi, right, officer. What's your what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number, sir? Not gonna tell me your name and badge number. It's part of your policy. What's his name and badge number? This is Sergeant Demmer. He'll, Sergeant Demmer. He'll be assisting here. Okay. So we we just wanted this to go smoothly because we're just trying to enforce Oregon law. Okay. 
let this officer explain this. All right, so at this time, okay, I am going to tow your vehicle. I'm going to give you the opportunity to step out and get whatever items that you uh, would like out of it before the tow company arrives. And um, I need you to tell me if there's anything of value that you're going to leave inside the vehicle that I can note on my tow. I, I live in my car, sir. Not today, you don't. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but... Like I said, uh, okay, no, you're not because the thing is that you have like one, two, three, roadway. four, five officers here. Yep. And the thing is, is that I'm not doing anything illegal. I haven't done anything illegal. I, you have no reasonable, articulable suspicion that I have committed a crime. A crime. crime so yeah, and you're actually you spoke, you're violating you my you're you're you're, going, you're, viola you're violating my 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 Fourth Amendment right for right to privacy. Okay. You're uh, you're violating my rights uh, my my right to travel. And, um, Let me just talk for a second, okay, before this goes sideways in any form fashion, okay? I'm telling you what's going to happen. You have the right to just repeat what you just said over and over again, but this is what's going to happen. You're going to step out of the vehicle. This vehicle is going to be towed, okay? And if you don't do that, then we'll have to put hands on you. And, and why is my vehicle going to be towed? Because you don't have insurance. You don't have, you're suspended. Hold on a second. Let me show you something. This oh, and now it comes out. Another one of these idiots gets his license suspended and said, what can I do to still drive when my license is suspended because I can't get it legal because I'm a dumbass? Let me show you something real quick. What? Watch me closely. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab a folder real quick. You're going to show me some of the Constitution's paperwork? I'm going to grab my folders. Something tells me they have no interest whatsoever in looking at his folder. one of my folders right here sir i've already told you okay the thing is is i've already gone through i've even gone to circuit court on these these type of papers okay, and this charges is, this is my and none of it even holds here? up in circuit court okay i've gone through it multiple times and people like you know it just and none of this holds up and i'm sorry you've been misinformed by somebody and that you fell for this but that it's just not true you also are suspended in the state of oregon and do not have a driver's license and cannot drive the company, can you please stop digging around back there? Okay, unless you get out and I'm able to kind of look for weapons or whatever real quick. There's no weapons in here. Okay. This is for that right here. Here's all the Supreme Court rulings right here. Okay. Show them to the judge. I'm really happy that you have this information. If you would like to take this to court at a different time, you can. I'm not telling you that you can't. You'll have your opportunity in court. Okay, and I'm not can, driving. I am traveling, you sir. You can talk to a judge about this. Okay. This is what's going to happen. Remember, I just said you can talk around in circles or whatever. But at this time, this is what's going to happen. Okay. This officer is the consummate professional. How was he doing this without laughing in the guy's face? Uh, I, I don't have that in me. I know I don't have that in me. What's his first name? Antonio. 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 I'm the sir right here. Antonio. No res no registration is required by Antonio. law. You, here's all your UCC codes Antonio, right here. I'm the supervisor here, and this officer has been more than polite with you. Okay, yes, you're being audio and video recorded if somebody hasn't told you that yet, but you need to exit the car. The car is subject to tow. And you, you called it a car. How dare you? You are subject to citation. You need to exit the car so we don't have to make this a bigger deal than what it needs to, okay? We can't sit here and go around and around. You're more than welcome to bring that stuff. At your day in court, but right now it means nothing to us because we are complying with, uh, or we're enforcing the, the laws of the state of Oregon, okay? And you're in the state of Oregon. So you can show me that all you want, but that doesn't matter, okay? I'm being more than polite with you right now. Okay, give me a moment. Antonio, you've had lots of moments, okay? Unbuckle your seatbelt, Antonio, and get out of the car, please. You, know, you can just picture the guy... When his mom finally comes and gets him and she takes him home so he can go to bed on her couch where he lives, the, he's just going to whine and complain. They wouldn't even look at my paperwork. I printed all this stuff off and they won't even look at it. Those sons. Antonio. Here's my fee schedule, sir. Okay, if you actually are taking action. You're more than welcome to bring that with you in court. You're going to have the, all the opportunity to bring all that stuff with you. Okay. You need to unbuckle your Can you issue my citation, please? No. You need to get out of the car, Antonio. The car is subject to tow. Go ahead and get out of the car, Antonio. Give me a moment to put this back. Antonio, you need to get out of the car. Thank you. This officer will issue all your citations as soon as you exit the car. 
And you're going to have every opportunity to grab whatever belongings you need out of the car. Okay, go ahead and hop on out. Thank you very much. Dude, get out of the car. They've already told you they're not buying your nonsense. You're going to end up being forcibly dragged out of the car. You should probably just get out. Any weapons on you, Antonio? I have the right to remain silent. Go ahead and help on out. Thank you. Being removed out of my under threat of arrest. Down real quick. I do not. I, I do not That's consent to search and seals. But, but for my safety, this is um, Terry versus Ohio. Okay. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Nice work, Antonio. Thank you. Why don't you come? Come on over here. On my bumper here. We'll just have a seat. Right here, we'll get you your paper. I will prefer to stand, sir. Yeah, you can stand. Yeah, sure. And, you know, please do not be actually, in, you know, touching or telling me where to do what to do. Please do not tell me what to do or what to do, please. I'm already doing this under the threat of duress. I hear you. See that out there actually towing my car? <laughs> you called it a car. You're a terrible soft hit. All these officers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine officers. Name and badge number, sir. Right here. Is that what you tell the judge, sir? You're not a judge, sir. No. <laughs> sir, it is part of your policy. What is your name and badge number? Okay. Name and batch number, sir. Property out. Or do you want me to mark anything of value in the check? The whole thing is value. Okay. Like high value. Like you have like everything that's in there is all in high okay, value. Everything that's in there. My whole including the car. Okay. Are you gonna get some stuff out? I'll grab my jacket. So right now they're stealing my vehicle and property. I do not consent to any uh, any searches or seizures. You just want it to be you don't you just want it to be dragged out of here or what? So just so you know, the tow company does charge an extra fee if they don't have the key to the car. So it's for the tow company, not for us. Do you want to leave that with them, or do you want to have the tow company? No weapons in the in the jacket. Don't touch me. No, nothing in there. Okay, thanks. What's, hey, hey, you gotta you gotta let us know what's up. Okay, are you? Okay, you gonna hand over the key? I'll hand it to him personally. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here you go, Antonio. Here's your uh, passport ID back. Okay. So you are being cited for driving unassured, violation driving while suspended or revoked, and failure to display plates. Okay, these are violations in Oregon and the city of Salem. You can go and contest them. Your court date, if you want to go to court and contest it, is 318 of 2024 at 8 o'clock in the uh, morning at Salem Municipal Court, located at 555 Liberty Street. Okay, the address is on the CAD, and 
You can also pay it, just follow the directions on the citation. Here's the first one. This is your tow slip, okay? To get your vehicle back, you're gonna have to show proof of ownership and proof of insurance and a licensed driver. Proof of ownership. And go to the Salem Police, this is, this is important stuff, don't start arguing with me about things, okay? And go to the Salem Police Department, show that proof to the Salem Police Department. They have administrative fee. Once you show those things and you pay that fee, they'll give you a slip. You take that slip down to PC Towing here, and then you pay their fees, and they'll release the vehicle to you. Okay, do you have any questions about anything? I have a right to remain silent. Okay. You do have a right to remain silent. Okay. All right, you got to step back so we can have some room here. You're free to leave at this time. I need every single one of you guys' cards, please. Sir, you have my card and the case number. It's on the... I understand that, but I need all, every single one of your cards. You guys were all involved with this, so please. You have, you have her name, man. Okay. Cards, please. Uh, uh, it's just too much. Excuse me. Denied. Leave or stay. It's fine. Okay, but you have a report number. You can also get the report number. And everybody's uh, information will be logged on the cab. That's a computer. That's fine. Okay? Yeah, this is this is tyrannical right here. Seriously. You were at least going to give me your card, sir. It is absolute tyranny to have you follow the same laws that the rest of the world has to follow. Logic. I appreciate your professionalism. Uh, Officer Galusha, Sierra 411. That's my bad. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Oh no, they're pirating my vessel. And there they go taking my car. Removed out of my car the threat of arrest. So if anybody actually knows what else I could do. I know what you can do. You can get your car registered. You can get your car insured. You can get a driver's license. Try that. Somebody contact Anna about this. See what else you can actually do about this. I appreciate it. Is that his guru? Is somebody going to call the guru for him so that she can do nothing and not refund your money for selling you nonsense? This is my home. They're literally violating my rights. <laughs> First time encountered with it, you know. I've already talked to other officers about that. They seem perfectly fine with it. And now this is actually happening. Well, yeah, it's happening. It's probably going to happen every time. You should try it three or four more times, though. Next time, don't get out of the car. Next time, let them break the window and drag you out because we need that kind of entertainment. Ooh, and get yourself tased. That'd be awesome. Those make great videos. Definitely get yourself tased next time. Yeah, I know.
So I'm going to end it there. There's some more of him just standing around watching his car go bye bye, but that, that's about all I need to show. You know, he he's free to travel in his Nikes, and he's on his way to do so. That's all I got for today. Have a good one. Peace out.